Yoshinori Osumi. Yeah. Uh, welcome to um, Nobel Week Stockholm. Yeah. Um, all Nobel laureates yeah. were asked to bring a thing, an mm. artifact, mm. Uh, to the Nobel Museum yeah. in Stockholm. Yeah. So, what did you bring? Yeah, I brought these two things. Yeah, mm. um, I I want to explain. Oh, those are the gift from my colleagues. Uh, last year, I got this, and this is a miniature of uh, twenty-seven years ago of me, and they. I, I didn't know the, that was a secret that I I was got uh, I got this one after the cel uh, sat that celebration party mm -hmm. was finished. They gave me this quite <laughs> some, uh, it's funny. <laughs> it's very very cute. And yeah. and this is the way you do your research. Oh by yes. The microscope? Uh, always. I, I I yesterday I said probably the. Uh, origin of my uh, the first I found the phenomena and for me uh, that was the starting point of my work and so I like microscope you to use to see something and mm. I I believe the uh, discovery of the some sort of a phenomena is the most important for biology mm. still I think so. Uh, so many uh, my colleague knows that. So they uh, gave me this mm -hmm. miniature. Of, this is uh, my probably twenty-seven years mm -hmm. old. <laughs> so I had a black beard, yeah. <laughs> black hair. <laughs> yeah, but it's very much like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. That this one. Yeah. And those one this is uh, uh, Yesterday I told about the. Uh, what is ATG gene? And this is a ATG twelve. It's a ubiquitin-like molecule bound to ATG five and combined by ATG sixteen dimer. So this is the first we solved the structure of ATG twelve five sixteen molecules. And this one was also present from a colleague two years ago or something. Mm -hmm. And this is a L uh, ATG8, another ubiquitin-like molecule. And this uh, molecule, the homologue of this molecule in moments is so-called LC3. Mm -hmm. That is very important molecule mm -hmm. for autophagy, for autophagy yeah. research. So yes. those I brought. Yeah. And otherwise, I don't have many uh, any special things. So I. No. <laughs> I, I oh, this, must is, this is lovely. I was thinking um, when you were born in yeah. 1945 yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Japan, it was kind kind of a rough time then. Oh yes, yeah. But I did uh, I did do not uh, remember because I was so young. So then. Then, when I was a uh, young boy, uh, Japanese uh, recovered so mm. quickly, and everything is goes up. So uh, my uh, young age, or up to probably to uh, graduate, to undergraduate, uh, everything is uh, quite uh, positive mm. uh, period. Then I, yeah, then we have now, because now we have uh, some sort of the mature uh, society mm -hmm. and, and we have many earthquakes right now, oh. volcano yeah, different <laughs> explosions. <laughs> so I, yeah, we feel uh, Everything is not so mm. stable. No. Yeah, I never saw that kind of thing when I was young. No. I was wondering, um, when you were a young boy, uh, what did you picture yourself doing as a grown-up? Yeah, probably. Probably, I said, yeah, I I have no talent to uh, drawing or sports or something, and probably. I had not not so many choices. <laughs> yeah, my father was a uh, professor in Tokyo University, mm -hmm. and my parents probably expected 
I won't be the scientist. That's so for me. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, mm. uh, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's I, not that far fetched for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But you started out studying chemistry, and then you switched to biology. Why yeah. was that? Okay, uh, a little bit. I said in the lecture, uh, I. You understand the chemistry is so a long story and also established. So when I went to the uh, Tokyo University, chemistry lecture was not so stimulative for me. But that time, as I said, the molecular biology that appeared and everything is so fresh for me and it's so fascinating mm -hmm. for me. So. Mm -hmm. I want to be a molecular biologist. That's the reason I. I have no, uh, uh, for example, in high school age, I haven't taken a biology course, yeah, lecture. But uh, immediately I interested in the molecular biology and, uh, mm. undergraduate school. Yeah. So was it any particular person that inspired you? Uh, Oh, molecular biology? Yeah. Yeah. Homo yeah. yeah. Probably, the, I won't say in the lecture, that was really a good time for me. So, just an engine. Every day, were, uh, for example, genetic code, mm -hmm. as this spring, uh, so. ATG means uh, methionine or that kind of things. Uh, it was so exciting for me. So that was, uh, of course, I learned about the Nirenberg or Chor or something. Yeah, that's my age of their molecular biology. Yeah. According to your experience, what personal characteristics uh, are valuable to a scientist? What do you need to? <laughs> I, I, I believe uh, it's not a stereotype of uh, researcher. I, I'm probably I'm not a typical. Uh, Why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I like. Uh, as I said, I'm not a competitive person, mm -hmm. and I want to. Uh, study something I interested, mm. uh, but many many uh, um, uh, successful scientists do not behave like like me. I I, I, I believe, but uh, I hope that uh, every not not only uh, scientists, uh, our uh, society should have. Heterogeneity is uh, very important for a uh, human. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. A lot of different <laughs> yeah. people are needed. Yeah, so mm -hmm. even uh, scientists, we should have ma many types of scientists. Um, I, I don't know what should be, I, I don't want to say this is the most uh, uh, typical or most important way to start science. Yeah, so you have, yeah, that's my opinion <laughs> for scientists, yeah. And you're still uh, running a research group. That you said that it's important with different kinds of, of scientists. Do you think like that when you're in your team? Do yeah. you, do you yeah. also have different yeah. varieties? Yeah, so, mm. of course, uh, when I started autophagy, just the uh, important thing is uh, what's going on by morphology or EM study, and then genetic start, and then molecular biological uh, research study. So even though autophagy, uh, yeah, we should uh, uh, focus some part of the uh, subject during my uh, uh, 27 years. So, but my, uh, I, Hope my lab has a heterogeneous people just uh, doing this research to, to solve their autophagy. So someone should be the uh, 
molecular biologists, some were uh, genetists, some were uh, biochemists, good biochemists, uh, some um, cell biologists. Uh, I want to have uh, quite heterogeneous people in my in my home. And also, do you still do your own experiments? Oh, uh, sometimes I try, but it's very difficult. <laughs> yeah, we need some con con. In, uh, time so yeah I started some someday but I should uh, uh, give up to <laughs> continue <laughs> so it's a uh, I cannot say I'm doing but I, I love the research by myself yeah I was thinking if we turn to your discovery mm. um, let's see. Okay. so this is if you can okay say so yeah. this is we show it to the camera yeah. Like that. That's um, a very schematic yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, picture yeah, of yeah, what it yeah. autophagy yeah. might be. But you show that autophagy, which is self-eating, uh, yeah. um, it's not only a way of degrading material. It's also mm. about recycling. Mm -hmm. So mm. why does our cells need a, a system for, for recycling? Okay. Oh. I always said, for for example, if you start, if you not not have any food, it's quite often a challenge in nature. For example, you can see many TV uh, program show there. A polar bear could cannot get any uh, food for several days and many, many, you, you, uh, you can have that kind of lion, even lion cannot get. get. So in the evolutionary, uh, starvation is the most... Uh, it's a big challenge yeah, to big the organism. To mm. for, so we should have a recycling system mm. at the beginning of the, our life. So I think, for example, if I, we, uh, one day starvation. I, I, I don't know, but I heard that our liver shrink to 70% of the volume. Wow. Yeah, that means the autophagy is very important for our whole body. Uh, liver uh, uh, do the autophagy and degrade their own protein. And I mean, I said, uh, I surprised uh, everywhere in our body, and especially for brain. Mm. And quite interestingly, uh, if you starve our body, every cell, most, all, all, almost all uh, part of our organ, organ uh, starts to uh, autophagy, but only brain doesn't. So that means that. Uh, uh, brain uh, nerve system is so important. So, uh, uh, first they are protected by, for yeah. starvation. That means there uh, are uh, uh, other, for example, liver is for, so important for uh, uh, sub, uh, survival. Yeah. So, I believe the uh, recycling is very important. Mm. Yeah. For I I I, I want. To emphasize in my lecture, yeah. Mm -hmm. And but if you if you are if you are a cell, a cell too much autophagy or too little, uh, what is the worst problem for a cell? Probably, yeah. Uh, as I said, uh, of course. So the uh, recycling problem uh, with, uh, uh, for example, uh, our autophagy defect to be still cannot survive under starvation condition. Mm -hmm. That means recycling is very important for survival. And also, as I said yesterday, autophagy has another function to uh, get rid of the harmful uh, excessive mm -hmm. materials. So if you have defect in autophagy, many harmful protein or harmful or uh, dangerous organic uh, accumulate in our cell. That is also very uh, dangerous mm. for life. Mm. So autophagy defect, now we know autophagy defect has many, many uh, uh, 
Um, uh, defect in mm. the health or a disease problem that, that uh, many people mm. interested in autophagy that's a, one of the yes. most uh, important aspects. yes um, because if you talk about recycling yeah. and, and nature and, and the environment yeah. there are some materials in our environment that are not easily degraded or recycled like uh -huh. you know plastic things that end up oh, in the oceans yeah, yeah. Yeah. is it the same thing in cells are the particular materials that are E hard to degrade and recycle? Yeah, probably uh, in usual case, okay, in uh, uh, lysosome has so potent activity to degrade almost everything. Mm -hmm. So, but we know many, many uh, lysosome disease that cannot degrade, for example, specific proteins or specific uh, molecule, those are all, those co all co goes there some sort of a uh, serious problem mm -hmm. for health. We in long, long time ago we know many, many lysosome disease, but we didn't have any autophagy disease. Probably autophagy is more a uh, fundamental function, so probably Auto, if you have a severe autophagy defect, they c cannot survive. So we didn't have any specific uh, disease for autophagy. That might, I, I, I think that ca that might be the case mm. in autophagy. Yeah. Maybe because here this is, should be like an, mm. in a mammalian cell because this yeah. is a lysosome yeah. and, and it's encapsulating yeah. the things that yeah. should be and here it's uh, yeah. like but you did your research that's why we had this little picture yeah. also oh, with your, okay. <laughs> your, yeah. your favorite organism yeah the yeast um, so okay yeah the so that's why we bought that one yeah okay <laughs> first I want to explain yeah the autophagy most important uh, uh, event is uh, how to uh, uh, sequester a portion of those cytosol uh, yeah. or to mm. into autophagosome. Mm. Yeah. But no nothing was known about the molecular mechanism forming this okay. kind of structure. So So that was the thing you were yeah, solving. Yeah. So yeah, I uh, so we need probably uh, we need uh, quite uh, uh, good model system. And, and I, when I started, in, uh, I was working on a vacuole in not lysosome. We have only this kind of big rigid compartment. Mm. And I, my, I, my, uh, uh, I assume this might be uh, homologous to the mm. lysosome. Mm. So. I want to know if this is really the DD compartment, how uh, these material come across the membrane. Mm -hmm. uh, so I thought for the beginning we are doing some sort of membrane biology. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but I, the beginning, uh, my starting point was found this kind of structure inside the vacuole. And uh, then electron microscopy of this process proved this is exactly the similar phenomena shown this. And of course, lysosome is much, uh, much smaller than vacuole, but you can see uh, autophagosome is formed too, and then fused with a lytic compartment and hydrolytic enzyme attack the inner membrane structure. That is exactly the same phenomena we have. So when you were looking like this, <laughs> <laughs> at, at, at what point did you understand that you had made a breakthrough discovery? Yeah. What, what was the... What yeah, probably, I, as I said, probably when I saw the... Uh, this is an electron microscope, but I just saw 
this phenomena under light microscope. And I saw these structures uh, moving around in the uh, vacuole. And uh, gradually these structure accumulating mm -hmm. the vacuole. And uh, that was so, uh, it looks to me a quite fascinating phenomena. So I was convinced I might have a really, yeah. It did interesting. So what, what was the feeling in your heart at that time? Yeah, yeah. Th that was a really, uh, probably, most exciting mm -hmm. time in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that before, but you said that one reason why you started to uh, study autophagy mm -hmm. was that you don't feel that you're very, a very competitive person, <laughs> so you choose that kind of field. Yeah. So I was just wondering if you we're starting your career today. Yeah. What field would you look into <laughs> then? Yeah, I uh, many times I ask a, a similar question. Yeah, I'll, I always say probably if I'm now I might not study autophagy <laughs> because it's uh, it's so popular and many people into. Of course, the uh, autophagy is uh, just a general. Uh, uh, word for many, many uh, uh, autophagy, you can uh, analyze the uh, structure biology well, and cell biology in many, many ways, mm -hmm. but probably it's so popular, so I want to make uh, another uh, subject to work mm -hmm. on, but yeah. Like what? What, what is the most <laughs> yeah, yeah, neglected thing to <laughs> this year? I always say that I'm too old to <laughs> think about that kind. Yeah. And for me, uh, I always say, uh, even in East, we know about 30% of the uh, mystery of the autophagy in East. Probably less than 30% in mammalian autophagy. Mm -hmm. So. There are m many, many things to analyze further. So, in that case, m I might uh, start autophagy in uh, some aspect of the autophagy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being a researcher can sometimes be frustrating. Yeah. As I understand. Um, yeah. And did you, uh, during those frustrating times, did you ever think of giving up, just quit and do something mm. completely different? Yeah, I... Oh, it's, uh, I'm not so hurry to have a good result, so I have not so much pressure to do that. Of course, one reason is autophagy is so uh, new field and not so many people working in autophagy. Mm -hmm. So I was really happy. Everything is new for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but for example, when we cl started the cloning of ATG genes, we had every genes are novel and we haven't get any answer to what they are doing. So. That was a really frustrating mm. time, and I didn't so much worried about. But many people said at that time you always complain on uh, the science meeting. We are have so trouble on the <laughs> yeah ATG genes, ATG protein. So for so. How, how long time did you? endure without getting the results. But soon, yeah, uh, we found the ATG12 system and within two or three years we got many, many new findings in mm. out of mm. the genes. So then, so from then, everything is uh, some sort of the, we should to, uh, get uh, information about the ATG protein and how they are working in the cell. So we had uh, many, many uh, problems should to be solved. So we started exactly that way. But probably 
I'm a biologist and I want to be know what is really Otomaji doing in this. So I couldn't uh, pursue that kind of question for a long time because I have so many things to do. So now I uh, go back to that original question now in my lab. So I want to uh, working on the uh, what and when and how uh, what our uh, uh, materials is degrading uh, lysosome or vacuum. That's my mm. yeah, question mm. I have. You mentioned that uh, when you were little, your mother had tuberculosis, uh, yeah, yes? Yeah. And one of the first things you got to know was about streptomycin. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you never, you never were interested in being a, a doctor. Oh yes, uh, I know. Yeah, probably. If uh, I saw many uh, very good uh, doctor at that moment, probably uh, I think the med medicine is. Uh, one of the uh, most uh, important field, but I don't know. I <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the case. No. Yeah, yeah. You like to look at the stars and, uh, and the <laughs> yeah, yeah, nature. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. You are now, I mean, you mentioned that you've been struggling yourself, yeah. and, but now you are about to receive the Nobel Prize, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and very successful. Mm. Um, so, do you have any piece of advice for oh. younger scientists okay. that are now yeah. in the, the process where you were yeah. before? What? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I saw the, the, the special in Japan, but I heard, I met a Swedish uh, scientist yesterday or the day before yesterday and also they feel it is not so uh, good time for basic research mm -hmm. because uh, a little bit younger generation in Japan uh, for example the professor uh, 50 or 60 they, it is not easy to get the money told they should uh, write a grant mm -hmm. application every time and also it's not so easy and they feel very competitive and also uh, many many ad administrative uh, job uh, things happen to me uh, to them mm -hmm. so they have not good time to concentrate on uh, science. So, uh, young generation watching their uh, PI, uh, they look not so uh, ha happy when no. I was in the uh, young generation, yeah. So, I hope, uh, I want to change that kind of situation. In, in what yeah. way? Yeah, 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 yeah. And, but uh, for young generation, yeah, if you these days uh, what happened for them is uh, you should have a good paper when you, you have the undergraduate school or postdoc you should always uh, push uh, push to have a, a big journal paper or something mm -hmm. that, but it, it means if you you should work on the popular topics because it is much uh, has a chance to get the uh, nature or science or a, a cell paper but uh, so it is very difficult to stick on the uh, new subject but like you did. yeah yeah so my advice to the young generation if you really have a uh, you you can believe you can have good result in that many many com uh, very competitive uh, field. You let go, but if you uh, really interested in some something, you had better 
keep that uh, question there. So don't hurry, or you had better find the uh, phenomena you can continue five years, ten years, twenty years. Twenty-seven <laughs> years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's my uh, advice mm -hmm. for the young generation. Uh, finally, we have talked a lot about your uh, work and mm. your career, uh, but when it comes to life outside of the laboratory, mm. uh, what is important to you? Yeah, <laughs> um, probably in my case, my wife uh, took care a lot of me and I should uh, appreciate her help and but yeah it's very difficult to uh, do everything so nicely but now uh, I won't have a more calm and more uh, Relaxed uh, mm. time, in, so e yeah, it's a yeah, a dark hard <laughs> question for me. <laughs> yeah. I was just thinking maybe have have um, your family and your relations have it been important for for your scientific achievement? Yeah, mm. Mm. yeah, probably my I had two sons, but they didn't when. Uh, uh, entered in the science field, probably they watch me and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you very much Thank for you. taking your time. Uh, domo arigato gozaimasu.